video we are trying to learn about Authentic apps. The objective is to get the overview of the Authentic apps. In Authentic, we have two elements: the client side elements and the server side elements. Client side elements are the user interface elements. They are map view, drawing tools, and so on. Server-side elements includes image collections, feature collections, and any calculations done on Orton's and objects. And we cannot mix these two objects. For the server-side functions, we have appropriate API function. It includes ee.dat, ee.image, and anything that starts with ee. Dot of the server-side functions. For conversion of the server-side objects to client-side objects, we use .getInfo and evaluate method. And to understand the type of server-side object, we have ee.algorithms.objectType. Our engine has user interface API, allowing us to build an interactive wave application. There are library of user interface widgets such as buttons, drop-down menus, sliders and using those uh, widgets we can build the wave application and these are included in the ui.package which starts with ui. Uh, and they can be ui.select, ui.button and so on and we can create those elements by calling those functions with appropriate parameters and the um, example we're going to see is the drop down selector using the UI dot select widget. We will see this after some time. And for building and publishing an app, we certainly require the skill of, of the full stack developer. And sometimes this can be out of reach for uh, most analysts or scientists. But the Orton's and User Interface API provides ready-to-use widgets and uh, cloud hosting, allowing anyone to publish an application uh, with some lines of codes. And the very important object here, um, while publishing, uh, publishing an app, is ui.panel, and this contains different types of widgets. And in this particular demonstration, um, there is an app called Night Lights Explorer. And let us remind again that this contents are being adapted from special thoughts for our learning purpose. So here we begin. Uh, we have the very first line here, where I, uh, variable name dit provided with some values here, and we print the type of dit, print type of this variable. Similarly, we have this e dot dit, and this is the server side, and the first one here is the client side, and we check this, uh, which is uh, we check the type of those variables. And to bring the server side objects to the client side, we use dot get info, and this dot get info can be uh, sometimes um, uh, you know time consuming, and making our code editor freeze, so not a good user experience. For this, there is the next function, that is the evaluate function. And this evaluate function needs to have uh, have the callback function, uh, which is called once, and the value has been com uh, value is computed and is used. So we run this. So we get the very first type here. This is the client side. And this real is the string, and for the server side, we have the object. And by dot get info, we are bringing the server side objects to the client side. So this here is now the um, string. And here is a function um, done with the dot get info. And this start get info uh, freezes our our tab here, so this is not recommended. 
and finally we have this func uh, function here this is the callback function and we can compute the uh, numbers here so this is just to show that uh, when we use this develop function uh, it requires some callback function and here we have the second sets of codes we run this and what we get here is the um, selection of different dates from 2014 2017 and here we have the click to load image and when we click this so something appears here and this is the night light time uh, being shown in the map so let us understand for these two things what is being um, written in the code section so here we have the years this is the list beginning from 2014 to 2017 and here we have the UI dot select and this is doing the trick for this one here for the different dates and here we have the items and we have the value and this is the default value being shown that is 2014 and this we add as map dot add and year selector so this is the thing uh, that's being done for the year in a very simple way uh, it is being done here and there is this function now so we get the year from this selected uh, year selector variable and then we have the um, image collection we have the start date and in date two different dates again uh, from that initial variable here and we filter based on that provided dates and we provide the mean and we select the um, this uh, this uh, average value here and we keep the real year name and we have this minimum and maximum values and we add this as the layer so and this load image uh, variable name is um, is to be shown as we click the button so we have here on click and the variable name so this is done when this uh, this button is clicked so the, here is the widget ui dot button and as soon as the button is clicked we have our image loaded and finally we add the button map dot add button so this is the um simple and very nice way to see how it's working so we can change the dates and we can load the image so this is the demonstration of the your uh, selection widget then we have the next here so we run this again so in this case here we have the select a year with different years then we have the month and as soon as we select a uh, year month and if we load this we get here the same thing as before but this time we're selecting the month and year we have the title here so let's see what is happening so we have the main panel here so this main panel refers to this big uh, box i think well, let's say big box here and then after we have the ui dot level so this appears here so here is the string night light explorer and this appears here and we can add widgets to the panel so we are adding main dot panel dot add title so this title is being added to this main panel then we have the drop down panel it starts uh, with ui dot panel and this panel is uh, in the horizontal position ui.panel.layout so this will appear as horizontal and again we add this um, in the main panel and here we have the year selector and month selector and then after we add this button here ui.buttonload and this will work after the selection of different years and months and for this drop down 
panel, we have the years and months, and then after we have the um, different uh, strings that is to be uh, selected from those two different drop downs that is for years and the sec second one for the months. And we uh, select those years and months uh, for uh, for it's uh, working and uh, and then after we have the similar function that we saw it in the previous chunks of codes so we have the image collection uh, we are uh, selecting the year and months and we have the start and index and then after we are doing the same thing as selection of this uh, band here and then after we have the visualizing parameters, layer names, and we are adding this as soon as the on click uh, button is clicked. And we uh, set somewhere in the center, and we add this main panel uh, in the map section. So um, this is the uh, way to make this uh, application with the, the title or and then after we have uh, the two different selections for months and years and we click on load and this happens so this is a very nice again very nice way to see how the uh, applications uh, is being developed and finally as soon as we uh, complete writing these codes and see uh, what's there we can click on the apps and this is for publishing it as an app so we create the new app it's very easy we give some name to the app and we just click on next and here it's showing where do we want to so have those uh, codes in the current contents or create a new um, new repository or new parts uh, for the codes uh, this has not already been done and after we provide the name and after we do the selection of the parts after some time we get something like this and this is the name of the app and this is the um, this is the link where the codes uh, will appear so when we um, click this this will appear something like this so this is the app that was just developed and we can play with it so this application has now its own link uh, this is the cerebral link and this is the application and the final one here is the um, split uh, window app so let us see so here we have the feature collection uh, some uh, areas has been selected we have the sentinel 2 we have the function for cloud masking and then after we have some scaling uh, multiplication with some constant we are preserving the time properties we are selecting the sentinel 2 and some other filters here we are mapping the function cloud masking function and we are creating a median composite by dot median and we provide the um, another uh, data set um, this is the ESA World Code 2020 classification and for that as well we are filtering and we are selecting the first band here and we create the split panel app uh, application for that we have the left map we do that by UI dot map and Two different maps here these are joined by ui dot map dot linker two different maps and finally we create the split panel ui dot split panel with the first panel and the second panel two different maps two different panels and this will be set in the horizontal position and finally uh, we remove the default map and we add the split panel and we provide some visualizing parameters and we um, do the addition of two different uh, 
map yeah we, we finally see the two different maps here so here with the um, right map has the classification map so this is what we see and this again can be published uh, can be published as an app so this uh, con particular content has also been um, described uh, or shared in the previous video uh, so this is the uh, overall view of the application in our engine so the conclusion here is that um, first we can prepare anything um, anything we like to share um, maybe we can write uh, tons of codes and after writing or after getting the uh, um, after getting those results uh, we can use different uh, widgets and using those widgets uh, we can certainly make an application so this is it um, I hope this uh, content was helpful to you um, if this was helpful to you you can like this so thank you for watching <laughs>